had a brick thrown through the window. People approaching my kids, making threats on my life or on my husband's life. In particular, people who had spoken out, especially when they were talking about health issues. Price is speaking out. We got a phone call and it says, uh, if you don't back off, you know, well, your youngest son's gonna come in harm's way. I was here working on a report and I heard the shot. They know exactly which one is most vulnerable. But if I quit doing this, they've won. And there's so many citizens that need desperate help. So I keep doing it. I look at my daughter, and I always go back to her because she's the sickest out of our bunch, I suppose, and I have to wonder what does her future hold? How many times can a person get this sick before there's that one time? We had uh, C-140s that flew over us and they were spraying something. And when we got home, we started all getting sick. You know, we thought we had the flu, but I know now we were poisoned. DPA was the key agency. There was an attempt on the part of the government and BP to cover up the volume of the spill because of the financial impact to BP. Massive use of dispersants was part of that attempted cover-up. An uncontrolled experiment that could result in thousands and thousands of people getting sick or dying as a result of the cleanup, not of the original disaster. When you put people in a corrosive environment with this dispersant, that's an interesting experiment if you don't care about the people. What other effects might there be from injecting massive volumes of dispersant into the ocean? I don't know. I don't think anybody knows. So I got these constant phone calls telling me I'm vomiting and I have chest pains, excessive bleeding, bleeding from the breast for women, you name it. How can they expect us to believe that you can dump this much Corexit into the Gulf and have no effects? This is a, a safety data sheet dealing with the Corexit. Our hazard evaluation has found this product to be hazardous. I asked for a respirator, and they told me that would be an act of termination. We napalmed from Louisiana all the way over to the west side of Florida. And we're pretending that everybody's fine. Well, everybody's not fine. If they were close to that oil, they sick. You wake up in the morning and pull her sheets back, and the bed's full of skin. They call her scab girl at school. They're bleeding from their ears. They're bleeding from their rectums. Felt like somebody was taking a vice grip on the inside of my head. Bad shaking like Parkinson's. Start with one little bitty spot. Next thing you know, eating where you get in a hole and then it starts spreading and eating more. Our children are dying. Our animals are dying. Our babies are born premature. Birth defects. There, nobody is going to survive this crap. There are hundreds of thousands of people that were exposed that have chronic health impacts and they will have these chronic health impacts for the rest of their life. They sit right there at our elementary school, 435 kids upstairs. That was what they told us. We didn't need respirators. We didn't need any kind of protective anything. We were perfectly safe. They're saying we're not gonna admit it's dangerous because once they admit it's dangerous then they gotta start paying people more money. BP and the federal government repeatedly issued statements throughout the spill response that no significant risk was posed to coastal communities directly exposed to these chemicals. It allows them to, you know, uh, keep business as usual. If nobody can prove a harm, then why not do it again? There is an opportunity for Americans to take back their rightful place at the table, but they have to understand that they are either at the table or on the menu. Could they know? Could the oil industry, BP, know about the health effects and how to prevent them? Absolutely. They have the resources, they have the knowledge, they have the ability. They just didn't do it. They didn't forget to do it. They purposely decided not to. I, I, I think that's a reasonable conclusion, yeah. A 
think they're so used to running over people that don't have, they can't even face the idea that maybe just this time they're not going to win it, you know.